in my last video a lot of you said to try an artisan pad so i did a lot of research and i decided that the artisan zero was probably the best choice for me if you don't know anything about artisan mouse pads they're mouse pads imported from japan and a lot of enthusiasts are pushing them as the gold standard of mouse pads so these pads are quite expensive i ended up paying 70 dollars for mine uh with shipping and it got here in about a week so the shipping is not uh bad by any means but I have heard some people uh, taking longer than a week, but for me it was fine. But I live on the east coast of the United States. So I've been using the pad for about a month and like a week straight. So I'm not just making a review when it's right out of the box, I actually put some time into it. I personally believe that uh, mouse pads are really important. I think that they're almost as important as uh, your mouse when it comes to aiming your best. And I've tried a lot of mouse pads. So I have some pretty strong personal opinions and I know what I like, I know what I'm looking for. So compare your preferences with mine and see if my opinions would apply to you. So I'm going to be going over what I liked and what I didn't like about this pad. So we'll start off with what I liked. The first thing is that it uh, ships flat. I've had a lot of mouse pads and some mouse pads I've had like literally never go flat. I swear to God, I've like rolled them the opposite way. I've put heavy things on top of them for like multiple days and they just never went flat. Specifically like the QCK heavy for some reason mine never went flat. So the Arson pads actually ship flat. They ship in a huge box. I'll put a picture up on screen. It's good. I, I wish more companies did this. This is amazing. It's much better than uh, keeping the pad rolled up in a box. So the second thing I liked was uh, the stitching of this mouse pad. The stitching is hands down the best stitching of any pad. It's actually lower than the mouse pad itself, so you don't feel it. So this is really great for people who have their mouse pad a little bit higher up on their table. So the next thing is the, the base. The base is very sticky. This thing... It's kind of hard to, it's literally kind of hard to move it, like move it into position because it's so sticky. Like this thing literally does not move. Another thing I just want to touch up on is the build quality itself. I mean, it feels really high quality. Like it does not feel cheap. Sometimes you'll get a product and you're like, oh, this just kind of feels cheap. No, th this is like the overall feel of the pad is really great. So the greatest thing about the pad is it does not get affected by humidity. The majority of popular mouse pads that are out right now are affected by humidity. GSR, GSR SE, QCK are all affected by humidity and they become slower when the humidity in the air is higher. So if you live in a humid place, this is really good for you because the mouse pad stays consistent year round. I've noticed it in my GSR uh, on days where it like rains, the mouse pad feels way different. It's much slower. It, it becomes like, it becomes very uh, muddy basically. So what did I dislike about the Artisan Zero? First of all, uh, shooting sleeves don't work. So if you're a player that uses a shooting sleeve on your arm, uh, your arm will not be gliding any better because there's a uh, friction. It's hard to see in the video on the screen, but I'm trying to move my arm and my sleeve is getting snagged. There's way too much friction and this is what the soft variation. I have not tested the extra soft version, so I'm not sure if there's any difference, but soft and shooting sleeves do not work. Next thing I didn't like is the roughness of the pad. Uh, I wish that I got the extra soft version because soft is a little scratchy to the skin and I noticed the friction on my skin was more than I'm used to. So if you're coming from the GSR or GSR SE, the extra soft is, is probably much better. It's going to be more what you're used to. The soft is just a little bit scratchy to the skin. It's a little bit irritating. So if you're looking for that smoother glide on your skin, extra soft. And that's about it. There's uh, not much to hate on besides a few personal preference things. So who would I recommend this pad? I think it's a safe pad to recommend to basically anyone wanting a normal speed cloth mouse pad with the best build quality possible. And I would definitely recommend the extra soft version to a, a GSR, GSR SE user or someone wanting a soft to the skin type feel. And if you prefer like a rougher feel to your skin, I've heard that the mid is a... Uh, fine as well basically all the variations are pretty good for me personally i would steer more towards the extra soft side so who would i not recommend this pad to if you do not have problems with humidity in your area and you prefer a mud pad type of mouse pad where there's static friction for example a worn qck or normal gsr you might aim worse with the zero because it's noticeably faster if you prefer control over speed artisan doesn't really have much to offer you this is not a mud pad by any means so you might aim worse it is noticeably faster. Also, if you're into super fast mouse pads for whatever reason, the Zero might be actually too slow for you. The speed of it is uh, pretty normal, I would say. It's not a slow pad and it's not a fast pad. It's right there in the middle. Thank you guys for watching. Recommend me what you want to see me review in the comments.